So it's a great day to be alive and I'm very excited to be with someone that motivates me, that is super passionate and that it's always innovating. Derek. What's hey. up, sir? Hey, what's up, man? Talk to me. Drones. Oh, yeah. How did it change your life? Oh, man. So I was basically taking a lot of photos um, on the ground with my phone, with my DSLR uh, of sunsets and piers and you know, to be honest, after doing that for a while, I kind of got tired of kind of shooting that. I, I got good and it kind of just became like a routine and I was kind of just doing it for likes at that point, to be honest with you, because I knew they would do well on Instagram. But uh, there came a time when I was like, I need to mix things up. I wasn't doing photography because I was passionate about it. I was, I was doing it for other motives, right? And so um, about that time when drones came out, and I was like, I don't know, I, I might give it a try. I remember taking it in the drone for the first time and blown away by seeing in this new perspective. Uncharted territory. I didn't know anyone doing drone photography at that point. And I was like, I'm gonna take on this new challenge and everything you know, has changed from, from there. And uh, I've been passionate about this hobby ever since. inspired by God's creation like when I take a when I take a picture you know I've, I've I've humbled myself to realize like what what have I actually created did I did I create the water did I create that sunset the the trees you know this beautiful landscape and so you know that's the first thing um, and then next I'm just inspired to, to I have this desire in me to create something new just a constant desire uh, I, I realize that I can shape um, the way people see the world. Um, I can shape the way people see a certain location and that having that ability uh, pushes me to keep seeing like, well, how far can I take this? What else can I, what else can I share? What else can I show? So I'm, I'm like, I'm encouraged and inspired by like newness. Mm -hmm. uh, it's constantly like, what what's the new thing I could show now, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So out of all the photos you've taken, I know you were in Newport and you recorded whales. Yeah. What has been the one that you saw and you're like, wow, am I lucky? Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, it was definitely one of my my first uh, my first drone shots. Um, I got my drone and I remember thinking. I gotta get to Chicago. <laughs> I gotta get to Chicago because there's the bean, right? You seen the bean? Yep. And I was like, I'm. I've seen thousands of photos of the bean, ground level. Right. I've never seen what's on like the top Amazing. though. It's this reflective shape, right? So I remember I woke up really early before crowds got there, took my drone up, pointed the camera down, and I saw in the reflection all the surrounding buildings because you know the beans angled. They're all distorted and angled in a sphere. Wow. It was like, I've literally never seen anything like this before, right? And that was the first shot where, where I was, I, I created something unique. And then I was like, this is gonna be really exciting to explore for the next few years. I, I don't know how long, I mean, I love drones and drones are getting more popular, which I think is awesome. But it's like, what, I'm like, what's next already? Like, do I go underwater? Like, I mean, I'm, I'm already thinking like, what's the next thing, right? Mm -hmm. Just constantly like, yeah. thinking new stuff. For sure. I would love to ask for your advice. A lot of the viewers of this show are young millennials. Okay. They are immigrants. They probably just came in from somewhere else, or they still live in their country. They don't speak the language very well, and they, ha they, they probably make less money than we do here in the States. Yeah. 
how do they start? How do you motivate them? What do they buy? What should they... Does it really make a difference if you buy the Spark or the Phantom Pro? Yeah. Yeah, so like, um, man, the drones on the on the lower level are still amazing. The first drone that I had to like build cost 2,500 bucks. Um, gosh, that's so much money thinking about that now. It's like, that's like a used car, you know? Um, and then now uh, we have like the Spark, it's 399. Are you kidding me? That's as much as the camera cost that I put on my $2,500 drone. So I, I'm of the mindset of use what you got. If that's a cheaper drone, use it to the best of your abilities. I got into photography because of my iPhone. I didn't have a DSLR. And what I did is I shot with that iPhone every single day. I was in the thing that I was passionate about every day. It wasn't uh, just when I felt like it, once a week, once a month. I was passionate about it, I was into it. I was using what I had on me at the time. That then led to some opportunities where I could make some money and then I could upgrade my equipment. But it wasn't all about just like getting into debt and having to buy the most expensive thing. I think you can still be creative with what you got. Borrow a friends, right? There's, I mean, try to work around some of your options. Um, I say get creative. Yeah. Love it. Let's walk a little bit more. Yeah. And then um, if you could give us three basic tips on how do we get more out of our drone, what would you say? Yeah, so the first thing that I think is important is people tend to forget that you need a subject. So when you get up in the air, everything shrinks quickly. You, you get up high enough, you can barely see yourself. Um, everything starts to become abstract. So you want to find a subject and that could be a car, that could be a boat, that could be even the sun, right? Pointing right. at the sun. And then from there, you know, figure out what's your story. Just like what you're doing with uh, video or design or on the ground photography. What is the story? What are you trying to communicate? There has to be some point to what you're doing. Uh, are, are you shooting a boat? Are you trying to make people feel, you know, a uh, uh, feeling of exploring? life with people uh, we're not made to be alone you know so in this example um, I started a community it's called from where I drone there's um, now 600,000 images tagged on Instagram with that hashtag that I remember starting on my couch as a joke I just put on one of my photos over a couple years it's blown up and I've literally found people all over the world through a hashtag so when I come to New York, I find my New York buddy that I found through a hashtag, which is so crazy, but it shows the power of like the internet and how it can connect us. So you feel like you don't have anyone to help you or that's, in, that's into the same things you are, find someone on the internet, right? Uh, message them, develop a friendship, right? See where it leads. Exactly. What do you have in your hand? So this is the Mavic Pro Platinum. Awesome drone, one of my favorite things. Compared to like say the, um, the Spark that we just talked about that's uh, on the low end, um, this one actually shoots RAW, that one just shoots JPEG. Um, this one can stay in the air a bit longer, so you get a little more flight time. Uh, it also shoots 4K video, so there are some benefits to it. But, you know, if your budget only allows for something like that, it's still an amazing drone to get, you know, one of the lower end drones. And last question, what, um, what's it going? What's happening? Drones, yeah, like everything's it's, it's growing more companies, brands. What do you perceive? Man, I, uh, I, I I ponder this all the time. I ponder this all the time. I feel like we're starting to move into an interesting time where people are getting really creative with the drone. Whereas, like in the beginning, it was just right to take it up. Oh my gosh, my neighborhood! It's just crazy. And, you know, things are jerky, but now we're just thinking cinematic. We're thinking like. Oh, Something, making a shape of something, uh, 
um, playing with perspective on like a basketball court, laying down so it looks like you're walking on the lines, right? So I think people are getting more creative now of like, oh, this is really just like an on the ground camera, but it's an extension of my hand and it's in the air, so I need to think the same way. It's not just about lying somewhere and messing around, it's about this is a tool for me to tell a story, right? Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, and thanks for having me.